EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Martichur with your Outlook for October 16th, 2023. It is Monday, back to work, and Kinsley's Family Market in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania, sponsors the Monday video forecast. With the kids back to school and the, and the days winding down, why not stop in the Kinsley shop right for some grab-and-go meal ideas? They have prepared dinners to go in their cafe, such as fried chicken, meatballs, bar barbecue ribs, chicken marsala, eggplant parmesan, where you just have to heat it and eat. They also have great seafood dinners to go in their seafood department featuring crab meat stuffed flounder, mango lime salmon, panko breaded shrimp, crab stuffed mushrooms, and mussels marinara over pasta. And again, you just have to take and bake, and that's it. Along with cut fruits and vegetables, desserts, and much more. So stop on by Kinsley ShopRite, where they always have fresh ideas for your family meals. They are Kinsley ShopRite, located at 107 Kinsley's Drive in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania, proud sponsors of the Monday video forecast. So today we have this system sitting way off to the east here. Now we did have some rain here on Saturday, uh, and uh, this has been a recurring theme where we've had at least one of the two weekend days wet for a while now, and uh, today we're going to have uh, a, some wraparound showers because there's an upper level trough still over the region. Uh, those showers are going to be very spotty and uh, light, brief, that kind of thing. Uh, not really too much substance to it. Uh, so a little bit, some areas, and some areas will see a spotty shower, others will not. We're gonna, otherwise, you're going to be a mix of clouds and sun today. Temperatures 56 to 62, a little on the cooler side yet. Uh, starting all cool this morning and not really recovering that much, 56 to 62. Here's what we see this morning at 9 o'clock. A few showers across, across north-central Pennsylvania. As we move through the course of the day, again, you could have just have a spotty pop-up shower and this would not be much to it uh, if it, you do have a shower occur at your location. Many areas are going to be just dry, and that's it. But this will be a less than 15-minute shower, quick, brief, light shower, and that's it, in and out. Uh, and that's all we're dealing with here on, on Monday. Uh, now, I will say, here is the uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. There's a game here, of course, in South Philadelphia, which is right there where that dot is. And uh, that is uh, the Game 1 of the National League Championship Series. I don't foresee any issues for the game itself. Possibly get a, a stray shower like between mid-afternoon and dinner time. But I think for the game itself, we are dry. And all this uh, isolated spotty activity should dwindle overnight like it did last night. When we had a few spotty pop-up showers. Actually, if you saw the radar last night, I know a lot of people were busy on the weekends and didn't really pay attention. But if you saw the radar last evening, that kind of showed its hand a little bit of what it's going to do on Monday. Just that very stray pop-up brief light shower, and that's it. And then Tuesday is trending away from that. Here's Tuesday afternoon. They don't. There's nothing here at all in the NAM, so we're just going with a partly to mostly cloudy day with the upper level trough still in the vicinity but pulling away. And the global models are suggesting that too. Maybe... Somebody gets a shower here on Tuesday, but I won't hold my breath. It will start to recover a little bit in temperature-wise, slightly, 60 to 65 here on Tuesday. Then after that point, uh, the trough begins to lift out. We start to warm up a little bit. Once we get to Wednesday, we have uh, mostly sunny skies. We have partly cloudy skies on Thursday. Temperatures warming even further. By the end of the week here, we're going to be in that 65 to 70 degree range uh, for Thursday. So it's going to be a nice day here on Thursday too. And then clouds are going to increase Thursday night and Friday and uh, it'll be mostly cloudy on Friday. Could be a late day shower with the next system moving in. And yes, this is another system that's going to ruin at least part of the weekend. It's just, uh, I'm, I kind of alluded to that in the beginning of the video that we've had this remarkable stretch here where the weekends, or at least one of the two weekend days, have been affected by rain, and it looks like we're heading for that yet again. We're going to follow the timing very closely and exactly what we're expecting from this. It does not look like a tremendous amount of rain, but this does have low pressure rounding the bend here coming through Friday night and at least part of Saturday. Uh, this is looking at Saturday morning. You still have, uh, now you have low pressure up across New York State, but you still have some showers uh, across our region here on Saturday morning and early afternoon, and this may pull out later Saturday afternoon. We'll see. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, timing is one of the last things we work out. That's not going to be until like mid to late week that we figure that out. But right now, that's what we're targeting right now is that you have rain late Friday, uh, all of Friday night. And then uh, this is, goes into at the very least Saturday morning, but more likely in the afternoon it comes to an end as this pulls off to the north. And we are looking at, for right now, the second half of the weekend being dry, partly cloudy and cooler and breezy in the wake of that system. So, uh, you know, this weekend we didn't have both weekend days washed out. Sunday actually turned out to be a pretty nice day. Uh, chilly, of course, but it was a, a nice day nevertheless. And it uh, looks like we're going to be dealing with that 
again next weekend where we're going to have Saturday uh, is going to be the rain day. It might not be the entire day, but it could be uh, rain at least for a portion of it. And then Sunday, it looks like it's going to be a dry day as of now. Keep following throughout the week. I'll give you updates on that weekend system as we get closer. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for October 16th, 2023. Have a great Monday.